we all gathered around to hear a story. Everyone was eager to hear it because pray about a little bunny. Once there was a little bunny. He lived in the woods, right here in this tree. His name was Hoppy. My, what a beautiful morning, he said. Of course, we all know that bunnies don't really talk, but it's fun to pretend. Yes, it was a beautiful morning. Such a beautiful morning that Hoppy felt happy. From the tip of long ears to his funny wiggly nose, right on down to his powder puff tail. He was going to have fun today. So off he went to see what he could find, singing hop, hop, hop. I'm a funny little bunny and it's so much fun to hop, hop, hop through the woods all day. It was nice to have such strong legs for hopping. Then he saw his neighbor, Mr. Raccoon. Good morning, Mr. Raccoon, said Hoppy. Good morning to you, said Mr. Raccoon. Would you like to share my breakfast with me? No, thank you, said Hoppy. I'm busy. Busy doing what? I'm going to look for places I've never seen before. You'd better be careful. You might get lost. No, I won't, said Hoppy. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Well, we'll see, said Mr. Raccoon, and off he went. Hoppy hopped on through the woods. Then way up in an oak tree, he saw Mr. Owl. Of course, Mr. Owl was sleeping. Owls sleep during the day and hunt food during the night. Hoppy was glad Mr. Owl was asleep. You see, sometimes owls aren't friendly to bunnies. So off Hoppy went. Soon he came to his favorite little brook. Today it was laughing and splashing in the sunlight. This is so good, thought Hoppy. It made him feel even happier than he had felt before on this beautiful morning. And off he hopped, singing, hop, hop, hop. I'm a funny little bunny, and it's so much fun to hop, hop, hop through the woods all day. But then he stopped. Do you know what he had done? He had found a place he had never seen before. He had hopped himself right out of the woods. Everything looked so strange. He had never been out of the woods before. But he smelled something good and decided to hop through the fence and see what it was. Now Hoppy didn't know it, but he was going to visit a farm for the first time in his life. There was a garden on the farm. That's what smelled so good. The cabbage reminded Hoppy that he hadn't eaten breakfast yet, and he decided to eat some. Then he tasted the green carrot leaves. These are good, he said. Then he saw something that would finish his meal just right. Fresh green beans. They were delicious. When he had finished eating, he decided to have a look around. My, he thought, this is a very interesting place. I wonder what else I'll find here. Hoppy wanted to run and play with the chickens. But the rooster said, no, it was time for the chickens to eat. The chickens invited Hoppy to eat with them. 
but he had already eaten breakfast, so he said, no thank you, and hopped away to see what else there was to see. Soon Hoppy found another fence. What would he find inside? Pigs, that's what he found. But do you think they wanted to talk to Hoppy? No, they were too busy eating. Hoppy said to them, if you eat too much, you'll get fat. The pigs just laughed. One white pig said, you silly bunny, pigs are supposed to be fat. They're not very friendly, thought Hoppy. All they want to do is eat. So he hopped off to see what else there was to see. And do you know what he saw? White bunnies inside a fence. Why, they look something like me, he thought, except I'm brown. One of the bunnies came over to say good morning to Hoppy. Good morning, said Hoppy. Do you live behind the fence? Oh, yes. We live in these nice houses the farmer built for us. They are nice, thought Hoppy. Nicer than his hole in the tree trunk. And look at the baby bunnies with their mother. They're trying to learn to eat the way big bunnies do. Where do you get your food, said Hoppy. Well, the farmer's children bring us good things to eat every day. No one brings me food, said Hoppy. I have to find it myself. I like it here, said Hoppy. May I move in with you? Yes, you certainly may, said the white bunny. Oh, good, Hoppy said. Come out and let's play tag. Oh, no, the bunny said. We have to play here. We can't leave. Hoppy said, you mean if I lived here with you, I wouldn't be able to play with my friends in the woods anymore? That's right, the bunny said. <coughs> what was that? Oh, don't let that bother you. It's just old Rover, the white bunny said. <coughs> the dog, said Hoppy. A dog chased me once and almost caught me. Now I'm sure I wouldn't like it here. I'm leaving. <coughs> what do you think of that? Afraid of old Rover. But Hoppy was afraid. <coughs> and he'd forgotten where he came in. Something closer. <coughs> the garden gate. Now Hoppy knew the way home. Finally, Hoppy was in the woods, and the dog was far away. When he came to the brook, he felt safe. Hoppy knew he was almost home when he saw Mr. Owl still sleeping in the oak tree. Mr. Raccoon said, Well, did you find any place you'd never seen before? Did I, said Hoppy. Come over to my house and I'll tell you all about it. Mr. Raccoon said he'd do that later. Hop, hop, hop. I'm a funny little bunny, and it's so much fun to hop, hop, hop through the woods all day. I've had such a wonderful time this morning, Hoppy said to himself, but I learned a good lesson. Visiting new places is fun, but there's nothing quite like being back home again. That story was fun, wasn't it? The children in our class enjoyed it. And now they've all drawn pictures of Hoppy. Pictures that show different parts of the story. What part of the story did you like best? Wouldn't you like to tell? And wouldn't you like to draw some pictures too?